candidates of the two traditional parties. Consider the ideas of Roger McBride. He may be the alternative you're looking for. Mr. McBride, the question of abortion has become a heated issue in this campaign. How do you feel about that? We stand behind the idea that a woman should make her own decision as to how her body should be treated. We think there are, of course, to be no tax money appropriated in order to provide abortions for anyone, but we think equivalently there ought to be no tax money appropriated to keep people who feel they ought to have an abortion from having one. You know, there's something amusing about the idea of paternalistic legislation against abortion being passed by men to tell women how they should handle their own affairs. The Libertarian Party platform speaks quite a bit about victimless crimes. Can you uh, explain what you mean about that? There's a so-called category of crime in this country known as victimless crimes. Things like gambling, things like consensual sexual activity of certain kinds between consenting adults. Things like smoking marijuana, to which the parties involved don't object at all. And yet they're liable to criminal prosecution. We think a person who's peaceful has the right to live his or her life the way they want without fear of the police knocking on the door. We favor the repeal of these kinds of laws, which will have the side benefit of freeing up the time of the police and the courts to attend to the real problems that face us, the real crimes of rape, robbery, murder, and the like that are such a plague in this country. With all the recent revelations about the FBI, do you think that should be an issue in this campaign? The abuses of the FBI have become increasingly clear in the last year as a result of the Watergate revelations. It's obvious to libertarians that there is no need for a national police force, which the FBI is. Up until 60 years ago, we had a traditional means of enforcing the law in this country, local police forces, which could be subject to the control of local citizens. I favor a return to that manner of dealing with criminal elements in our society. I understand that the Libertarian Party is opposed to the recently passed Federal Election Campaign Act. Is that true? The federal government has created a dangerous precedent in involving itself in federal elections. The Republicans and the Democrats have voted for their presidential campaigns nearly $22 million apiece. And this despite the fact that Mr. Ford and Mr. Carter talk about reducing the size of the government. They're using your tax money to support their campaigns. We're not offered tax money, and I wouldn't take it if it were offered. I'm concerned about this whole area of individual liberty, of civil liberties. I think the contenders of the Republican and Democratic parties have tried to leave it out of the campaign. I'm worried about the covert activities of the CIA inside the United States. I'm worried about the telephones being tapped by the FBI and the black bag operations that may still be going on by them, so far as we know. I'm worried about victimless crimes. I'm worried about children going to jail because they innocently took a joint. I'm worried about all of these issues and many others, and I intend to make them a part of this campaign. Support for Roger McBride and the Libertarian Party is growing daily. The National Observer says of McBride, his views are like fresh air, and he's been winning converts from the liberal and conservative camps at a surprising rate. Join the movement for a fresh new dawn in presidential politics. Vote for Roger McBride. Your financial support is urgently needed. Send whatever you can afford, $10, $20, $100, to McBride for President, Box 1776, Chicago, Illinois. That's McBride for President, Box 1776, Chicago, Illinois.